What's up everybody? Today we're talking about reinventing yourself. Has to happen every now and then. Do you realize that missiles, once they're fired, course correct the entire time until they hit a target? We're going to talk about how you can reinvent yourself today, how I choose to reinvent myself often, and what it means to your life. Stick with us. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you'll be notified every time we go live or we drop a new video. So maybe you've got a business or maybe you're working on creating something entrepreneurial and you wonder, you know, once you get it going, it just keeps moving smoothly forever. Well, that's pretty much not the case. I was asked a few days ago by an entrepreneur. She said, hey, when did you get a hold in your business and you started hiring people? and things start running smoothly. And I was like, you know, that's an ongoing thing. It's not something that you just get and just let it go. I'm constantly making changes in my business. She found that pretty interesting and actually it kind of relieved her because she was like, oh, okay. So sometimes your business can expand and sometimes your business retracts. That is definitely true. You have economic things that are weighing down on you. Uh, you have uh, just whatever. The, the world will always throw something at you and you have to be able to adapt and overcome each different situation. So today, let's talk about three little things that I use that help me recreate myself on a regular basis and keep my business moving in a positive direction. The first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is, and you could probably guess this, systems. You have to have business systems in place. You have to have business systems in place for your marketing, business uh, systems in place for your hiring uh, process, uh, for how the customers, the follow-up process for your clients, all different types of things. Those systems help keep you on course, but it also lets you go back and measure what's actually going on in your business. And let me give you an example. So basically, if you're uh, expanding your business and all of a sudden you see a dip in the sales or you see a dip in customer satisfaction or something uh, like that, then you can basically go back and look at your system and look at all the boxes you've checked off on to see if you're doing the work that is required to keep you moving in that direction. And systems can be designed for yes. your business. Uh, you can find many types of things on YouTube. You can, uh, I don't have a course or anything like that, but you can basically design a system just for prospecting, just for networking, just for basically customer interactions. You have to have some type of system that you work consistently in order to make sure you're staying on course. Then you have to make adjustments. The second thing I like to point out about recreating yourself or reinventing yourself is it, you have to look in the mirror. At least once a quarter, you have to look in the mirror. If you're finding that you are complaining about this or complaining about that, or these things aren't getting done, you're getting worn down. It may be time for you to look in the mirror and realize that you may be the cause of the problem. The third thing I do when I'm recre recreating myself or reinventing my particular self at this stage in the game is get my team around me so that they can help me figure out what we need to do next. If you think about it like this, my team has, is comprised of multiple different types of personalities. People have strengths in places where I'm weak. People are weak in places where I'm strong. So we can sit down and talk about what our next action plan and come up with a great idea for the next quarter. So those are just three quick things that I like to do. Don't forget them. Use systems in all aspects of your business because it'll help you stay on course. Um, do a self check when you're definitely feeling down or you're not getting the traction that you want. Look in the mirror because a lot of times the problem is me and I need to identify that. Um, the last thing is meet with your team. You've got a lot of good people around you that have great ideas, great energy, great thought processes, and they can lift you up and help your entire team move forward. Don't forget to do that with your team. If you like more information, check out this other video that I did earlier in the year called Three Habits to Help You Succeed in 2019. Uh, check that video out, and if you've got questions, put them in the comments box. My name is Ronnie Haskins. Have a great day.